I'm noticing a lot of teachers are asking kids for the Lewis structures of ionic compounds. Ionic compounds of a metal with a non-metal mean that electrons are exchanged and so you're going to have two separate ions that just happen to be stuck together because they have opposite charges. Na is in the first column and brings one valence electron with it. So Na originally, before it does any ioniking or whatever, has one electron. This is the Lewis dot diagram for just a regular sodium. Chlorine is in the group 17 or the seventh column in its row. So it brings seven valence electrons. I'm going to draw that too. Cl, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Great. It's not the final Lewis structure for NaCl because NaCl is made of Na plus with a Cl minus. Metals give up their electrons to non-metals. Lots of teachers want to see these though and then they want to see the transfer of the electron. This electron from Na is going to the chlorine and that electron now belongs to chlorine. Na now has no electrons around it. So because it has one fewer electron than it started with, it will have a plus charge. Sodium, no electrons remaining in its valence shell with a positive charge. Chlorine can do the same thing, except now it has an eighth electron. Ah, eight, good. That means the octet rule is satisfied. I put it in square brackets and it gets a minus charge. This is the final Lewis structure for NaCl. Show the metal atoms with no electrons and their positive charges. Show the non-metals with their completed octets and their negative charges. If you happen to need more than one of each, go for it. But for NaCl, I didn't. It's one Na and one Cl. That's it. Not too bad. Hopefully you'll find it easy for yourself as well. Just remember, you're going to have to complete the octet on your non-metal. Best of luck to you.